The NFL Today on CBS Sports is presented by G. And welcome back to the NFL Today. And now Amazon takes you out to the sights and sounds of the game between the Chargers and the Buccaneers. So let's send you out to Tampa with our announcers, Ian Eagle, Charles Davis, and Evan Washburn. JB, it's the site of Super Bowl 55, Tampa, Florida, and Buccaneers fans are hoping the home team can make some history this year. You can dream of championships when you have the NFL's all-time winningest player on your roster, Tom Brady. Today, the Bucs host the Los Angeles Chargers here on CBS. And welcome to the broadcast booth, everybody. I am Eagle Charles Davis. Evan Washburn joins us momentarily from downstairs. There is no doubting the fact that Tampa Bay has an extremely talented roster. The question coming in was how quickly would Brady mesh with this team? What are your thoughts so far? Well, he's Tom Brady, and everyone expected it to happen right then and there. But as he told us, football's hard, okay? Things have to get together and happen and mesh together, and they're starting to do that. Remember, Tom Brady, coming from New England, he had his own ideas about what Bruce Arians' offense should look like, and Bruce Arians has the same thing. And here is a Bruce Arians-type play. Push the ball downfield, find your tight end O.J. Howard in the seams, big catch. In addition to that, he and Tom Brady do agree a strong running game is an essential part of an offense. Ronald Jones will get the lion's share of carries today for Tampa. Two weapons sideline today for Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette out with an ankle injury. Chris Godwin sitting this one out with hamstring trouble. Last year, we saw some makings of it. This year, it has really emerged. This defense is the real deal, and it's a nice blend of veterans and young players all contributing. Todd Bowles, the defense coordinator, he believes in pressure. Bruce Arians, his head coach, encourages it. So he brings it from all angles, all levels. Seven different Buccaneers with a sack so far this season. Defensive line, linebackers, secondary. Here's Antoine Winfield, the rookie. Everyone will come at you. They'll show you the same look, and different guys will rush each time. Three tight games so far for the Los Angeles Chargers. They are one and two. Maybe this was not the timetable that they imagined prior to the season, but Justin Herbert is their starting quarterback. What have you made of the young man so far. They may be 0-2, but Justin Herbert has played exceptionally well out of the gate as far as I'm concerned. And it shouldn't be a major surprise when you take a look at the scouting report we have on Justin Herbert. Starts with his stature, 6'6", nearly 240 pounds, room to grow. He does have an elite arm, and when you get a chance to watch him throw it downfield, those in-breaking routes, he'll really let it rip. Athleticism, he may surprise you a little bit. In and out of the pocket, he can move. The quarterback run game is a staple for them. But one thing that's underestimated for him is competitiveness. This guy can run the football, take a hit, and he battles hard on each and every snap. A boatload of injuries for the Chargers. Let's get more from Evan Washburn. Yeah, and the next man up cliche is a reality, unfortunately, for the L.A. Chargers. The past few seasons, due to the injury toll and through, Three games, they're back in the fight. As you can see, six starters currently on IR, four pro bowlers. Chris Harris, the latest to join that list. And then today, four more starters out dealing with day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week injuries, most notably the entire right side of that offensive line, Brian Belaga and Trey Turner, as they now face a Bucks defense that is complex, fellas. All right, time for us to do Project Smarter, presented by the Home Depot. The Los Angeles Chargers made a really smart move in the draft to Joey Bosa. They made a smarter move this offseason, signing him to a long-term deal. He is their sack master. And for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mike Evans, he's their number one receiver. Hasn't had much production in yardage so far this year, but he knows how to find the end zone. And the keys for this game, feed the Gronk. Rob Gronkowski, a lot of catches last week. They want that to continue. And the Los Angeles Chargers, don't give the ball away, just take it away. Minus three in turnover margin in the early going. It is the 12th all-time meeting between the Chargers and the Buccaneers.